Okay, now we'll take a look at me mechanistic organizations versus organic organizations. Uh, think about where you've worked or where you do work, maybe the schools that you went through to, and see how they do uh, in terms of being mechanistic or organic. The mechanistic organization is very rigid and uh, is a lot of bureaucracy. I, and it would also be uh, seen as probably a tall organizational pyramid uh, where there's lots of levels of management. There's very strict rules and lots of them and I'm gonna say little trust. They might even be considered theory X in their ways because all of the uh, communication comes from the top, the tasks are simplified, uh, it doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun. All the decisions are made at the top, uh, there's tight controls, probably a lot of paperwork, a lot of paperwork, and it is very impersonal. So the mechanistic organization has tight control, lots of rules, impersonal, uh, everything is, you know, checks and balances, and it's almost like a military-like uh, company. It also reminds me, uh, in a way, if we take it that way, as a dictatorship. Yeah, you have very little say. Uh, you have no freedom. Uh, commitment wouldn't be as much because it's not, not, it's not very fun. And your pride level would probably be low because there is no freedom. Um, there's no trust, simplified tasks, tasks and things like that. So this would be the mechanistic organization, and I would imagine you can, uh, since you've seen the video for external locus of control, the employee has very little control over anything. Now the question is, since we kind of turned this uh, into being the demon corporation uh, and uh, lacking of trust and all the negative attributes of the corporation, sometimes it's needed. When we have, uh, I'm thinking about fast food. We need the product to be the same everywhere uh, around the world. And that would mean that there's no creativity. Uh, there are strict procedures for food safety, for consistency of the product, for freshness of the product, for, for, to protect the brand and things like that. So there are times when uh, that's just what we gotta have. Uh, other times though, we could have an organic organization where there's not, not so many rules, it's flexible. Uh, the job descriptions aren't simplified to the point that a robot could do it. Uh, there's fewer job descriptions because uh, people tend to work across job boundaries. There might even be cross training and more teams. We have teams working instead of that's not my job that's not that you're supposed to do that no we work as a team see uh this is more personal i think i've got that down here people oriented uh it's more personal and uh we're people not machines uh there's little uh, or less attention to the hierarchy that isn't as as important titles and status aren't as uh emphasized uh, we have bottom uh, line decisions where we empower uh, the employees to make decisions uh, decisions and at the lowest level possible. Meaning we wouldn't just turn the, the operation over to just anybody, but as low as we can, as people are trained and trusted, the decisions can be taken further and further and further down. So this creates self-thinkers Whereas this creates robots who have little uh, locus of control. Uh, and here again, that would be all uh, uh, decentralized uh, control. Uh, this would be more participative in a democracy. Uh, more responsibility for the employees and they should, depending on the personality type, enjoy that. More freedom. They get to be self-thinkers and be creative and solve problems. Over here, you would have to refer to the policy manual and see what we're gonna do, um, or just say it's against company policy, there's nothing I can do. Over here, you would have more freedom to fix the problems uh, 
And, and so we end up with an internal locus of control where you can actually say, yes, I can. I can take care of that. I can make the change for you. We can bend because we're flexible. So two different styles of organizations. Sometimes the mechanistic is needed uh, and, and it's just not possible to, to go organic. Other times we do have uh, the opportunity to go organic. So maybe, maybe if you're, you have customer service problems and, uh, and you're over here, maybe you should consider, you could consider uh, empowering the employees, train and trust, push that decision making down, let them fix the problems and your customer service problems. Uh, if we move over here, then maybe uh, we could fix a lot of those because there's no paralysis. Here's paralysis, here's freedom. So I want you to think about that. What, what's the place, uh, what's it like where you work? Is it policy driven? Uh, or and we have to add over here too this is driven by values we have values train and trust and we get quicker problem solving over here we have to go oh I'll check with them I'll check with them I'll check with them I'll check with them okay now we go back down they said they said they said they said and by the time that happens the customer is long gone and probably not coming back unless they have to so think about that. Can you switch some parts of your organization from being mechanistic, unneededly mechanistic, and push it over into organic? Oh, we get speed. We get speed over here. Over here, everything slow bureaucracy. Take six weeks to get a decision made. So think about it. This could help moving from here when it's not necessary over to here.